Well, good very Christmas morning. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. Because Eve being a goof. We've had a, a false start to Christmas morning. False start. Sarah and James came out to the living room, and he's just not quite ready to wake up yet. Not ready. So we're going to snuggle and relax on the couch. He says, wait a minute. Who ate those cookies? Did Santa bring you? <gasps> nice. Did that feel good? Cool, huh? Yeah. James? Is that the Grinch? <laughs> da, 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 the Grinch. You love it. Merry Christmas. Sarah's about to set up Eve's sensory toy that she got for Christmas. She put the treats in the little pockets. And Eve's got to move them with her nose. Like a little puzzle. Here, you got one. Merry Christmas. Evers. Watch. Look at Eve. Good job! Yay! There's more, Evie. Alright, Santa also brought James this really cute chair. Um, Sarah just put him in it, but he slinkered off it because he wants to play with his bin still. But we got the Frank Sinatra Christmas album on. So far, Christmas has been a hit, and it's just beginning. So we're going to start our gifts before I go cook a big old Christmas breakfast. Um... So I think we're just going to do like a time lapse of us opening up gifts and then we'll show them after about it. James is snuggled with mom. Um, we finished opening gifts. Great Christmas. I'm gonna make what, bacon, hash browns, and uh, pancakes. Papa chip pancakes. Um, so I just got done like 
bringing out the garbage and everything to kind of just not have so much letting everything pile up that I'm trying to do Those are pretty like, clean it up as the day goes but lightning round for Peter Sarah got me this awesome whiskey barrel aged Starbucks Reserve coffee which is like a super big treat because this is like a $45 bag of half pound of coffee so that is amazing Corksico Wilderness Lodge awesome this uh, Mickey Mouse P keychain is actually like pays homage to Sarah's mom because uh, Sarah's mom actually got me this exact same keychain probably a decade ago, one of, probably one of my first Christmases because I loved on her keychain she had an S for Sue. So Sarah got me that super sweet and then also this uh, Forget Me Not keychain that is a Snapdragon and a Forget Me Not seed. Um, which is like the seed of fatherhood carrying their children in their hearts and in their arms. And then three, Lauren made three little beads, pearl beads, to go on here to represent our three babies that I carry in our hearts. This is an awesome hydration pack, Nathan hydration pack, for the long runs, ultra runs that we'll be doing in 2022 with the trails and me running the Squamish 50-50. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Carolyn, for helping her find that this awesome bourbon the bourbon bartender cocktail um, book also it's not these two sets but Sarah did get me a cocktail set that came with a muddler um, and a few of these items as well very very cool this Nick Miller esque Eddie Bauer sweater can't wait to put that on later uh, a pair of moccasins we got a naked baby, we had a poop experience this morning. Um, moccasins? Mm -hmm. Oh! And my Trout and Coffee All in Good Time baseball cap. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. I'm gonna pass the camera off to you so I can go start cooking. So I just put the Grinch on. Um, I, I think we mentioned this yesterday that I'm like a few days behind Peter and James as far as COVID goes. I thought at first that I was just having like the most mild symptoms, like I just had a sore throat, but then all of a sudden like I got the runny nose, the cough, um, again our symptoms have been really mild, but just I sound more sick than I feel today, so like even though I'm just a couple days behind, I do feel like I'm on the mend, but I sound more sick today than I have. Um, Peter got me this, Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness, hey. Pop. Um, uh, and he also got me this mama necklace, which I'm super jazzed about. <laughs> James, really, James, he really likes Evie's present. What the heck? You've never had to work for your treats before. And then I got this weighted blanket. Two purses, like crossbody, just like everyday purses. I just broke my nail, so if you see that, try not to cringe. Um, he got me two different types of like loose tea from the coffee and tea exchange, like flights. So I'm excited to try all those. This Walt Disney World sweatshirt. He also got me a Minnie Mouse hat, and I got him a running hat. Those were like the gifts that we opened early. Then this super sweet book, because I had a teacher. And this shacket. When I told him I wanted a shacket, he's like, what the heck is that? Um, so yeah, I'm going to look like Taylor Swift. You know you'd get some clothes on, sir. Then as for Jamesy, well, Santa brought him Grinch. Um, we got him <laughs> Lord of the Rings little people. They're so stinking cute. I do wish that there was a Sam. But, oh my gosh. So stinking cute. He got a lot of books. The book of the story of Christmas. Got a Mickey Mouse shirt because we're going to Disney World and on a cruise. Santa brought him that truck. <laughs> These are Evie gifts. He got this cute hat, but he won't let us put it on him. And his own 
laptop because he always likes to steal ours. He was so, he was like, that needs to come out of packaging right now when we first opened it. So we forgot to watch the live stream of ABC's Disney Parks Parade, which is a bit of a fail. And we yeah. don't have cable, so we don't have like DVR. Right. So, like, I also know we have like serious FOMO, so like maybe that's a good thing. I mean, it's not a good thing because what we're doing would do the same thing. True. <laughs> Cause, so what we decided to do is we found on YouTube the 2013 Disney Parks Christmas Day Parade with our favorite host, this is one of my biggest dreams, Neil Patrick Harris. So let's all, let's all newsies. Let's cry together for the next hour and a half. Neil Patrick Harris talking to Walt and Mickey. Why are we at Disney? Don't you just want to walk around with showcase? Look at this dog right here. You comfy? You can rest. So I have the old Newsies red trolley car show from DCA on. It, it came out with a bottle to put this little one down for nap time. And he's loving his Grinch. Why do you love the bad guy? He's bad, then turn good, so he's tricking him. If he was good the whole time, James wouldn't have liked him. See? I just said he's good and he kicked him away. James, you ready for a nap? James. Jamesy. Stop ignoring me. <laughs> yes. All right, we're calling this a, a, a half toddy or a warm toddy. It's a modified hot toddy because I didn't have the honey or agave for the plant-based folk. It is time for me to make a couple of dips, which, if you know me, is my favorite part of holidays. Um, I'm going to make one of the dips that we had at Thanksgiving, which was like the chorizo cheese dip. And I think onion dip. We have some sort of pastry thing I got from Whole Foods. It was one of those instances where it was like... They substituted what I'd actually ordered. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, keeping it simple with it just being us. And then we also have jalapeno artichoke dip that's already made that I'll just have to heat up. First, I am just cooking up the chorizo to get it nice and brown and crispy. While that was cooking, I started prepping my caprese salad that we're having with dinner. Now that the sausage is done, I took it out and it's time to add in all the milk and cheese. We got half and half going. Monterey Jack cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and Velveeta cheese. And then adding in like a tablespoon of this chipotle pepper adobo sauce. And, and then some just like normal hot sauce. Probably going to use Cholula. So then you just cook it low and slow until it's super velvety and smooth. I added a little bit more cheese because... Mine was pretty, like, liquidy still. And then you mix in some chorizo. I also topped it with chorizo. Oh my gosh, my voice is so, so scraggly. Then you can top it with whatever you like. So I put jalapenos, cilantro, sour cream. Did I say jalapenos? I think I did. Um, so this is one dip. I'll actually link the TikTok that we were inspired by to make this. And then just a standard onion dip, like a Mrs. Grass onion soup mix with sour cream. I've been so nicely dressed. I'm roasting and toasting the whole mix. <laughs> hey, you taking soup. my pop? We have just been watching Christmas movies, Christmas shows, anything Christmassy, right? Hey, hey. I just set up James's chair in front of Colin Ballinger's latest video. And he was just relaxing. Hey, you like your chair? Whoa! <laughs> I'm just so nervous he's gonna splat off of it. Because it's only foam. Like if he leans hot. Hey, kick, kick, kick. You, you look so big. Yeah, well, I, just, I couldn't, I didn't have the camera. Oh, you love it? Merry Christmas. Santa brought that for you. Merry Christmas. He like leaned his head back against like the top of the back of the chair. This your chair? You gonna get back in it? Oh, big kid. Wow. Oh, 
my the kid he's needing something back there. Here, I'll hold it. Yeah, yeah. Climbing on his chair. Can you flip? Oh, good job. There you go. Good job. Oh, we're gonna sit crisscross applesauce. Relax, Jamesy. Whoa. Are you just gonna get up and walk? <gasps> Look at that. All your toys are next to your chair. Okay. We're done with the chair for now. Good job. Oh, dear. Here's our <laughs> apple pie. <laughs> what did you do with that? I don't know, but it was awesome. <laughs> It was supposed to be Dutch apple pie, but this is all they had for the it's delivery. The sacrifices when you do delivery. Wow. Oh, it's not Christmas. No. All right, it's getting late. Sarah was able to get James down, so we're gonna s attempt to watch, or maybe I should say, start watching. Don't look up on Netflix. Yeah. Just came out today, but uh, it's late. We had yeah. a long day. What's I know? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Merry Christmas. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>